All right, it's Duke here with Duke's RV, and today we're going to take a look at this Grand Design Reflection 268BH. It says it's the 150 series. So we're going to take a look at the few of the features on the outside, then we'll go ahead and take a look at this beautiful floor plane inside. You can see it's got the big awning back there, the stereo speakers, alloy wheels. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the specs. It is the 268BH. BH stands for bunkhouse. It's got a couple of east-west bunks that are uh, pretty conveniently located at the rear of the coach. Uh, this one has a unloaded vehicle weight of 8,068 pounds. Gross vehicle weight is uh, going to be uh, 99.95. So that's pretty much close to a ton of cargo capacity, 2,000 and as far as the axles and the kingpin are concerned. Uh, you may not want to carry it that full. So being the 150 series, what they're applying here is that it's, it could be towed by a half ton truck. There are some half ton trucks that can tow this one. So you're just going to want to check your payload capacities and I'll be happy to get with you on that. We don't want to uh, sell you a rig that's not going to work with your truck. Here's your convenience center here with all your uh, hot and cold uh, outdoor shower, all your water connections. It's got your cable and satellite the levers for your uh, gray tank and black tank and now if this drips down here it does have a little kind of tub area here where it would drain into so it was, would keep your pass-through storage from getting flooded you can see it's got the double welded aluminum construction there the vapor barrier the pex plumbing there is a heater duct over there keep this area warm and it does have the uh, electric electronic leveling system so there's two of these 30 pound propane tanks propane is going to keep your water heater your heater and your uh, stove going uh, it's got LED lights so if you're disconnected from the uh, grid or if you're out doing some dry camping uh, you still could do quite a bit if you don't need an AC at that time wouldn't have a microwave maybe but check out this huge storage here in the back lots of storage on this one and it does have the hitch here receiver for a uh, actually for a trailer you can see the specs on this one you know I'd probably consider it more practical to bring like a bike rack or a tray or something like that this one is already equipped with a camera up there that is a uh, Wi-Fi camera you see the antenna so you see what's going on get some rear vision working got the grab handle there this one does have a uh, tankless water heater you can see that right there has a uh, tire pressure monitoring system so you can keep track of your tire pressures as you roll down the road stay safe there's the other 30 pound propane tank and it does have the molded molded fiberglass front cap so up Enough of this talk on the outside. We're going inside. I know you want to see the inside. See what's going on. Well, here we go. Go up the stairs. A little quieter in here. So, uh, let's take a look at it from this angle right here. Check out the BH, the bunkhouse. So, you see it's got those east-west bunks here. You've got this stairwell right here. To make it easy to climb up on this top bunk and there is for each bunk you do have a USB 110 and you have a couple of windows that storage compartment doors open they're blocking that window and you have a light for each one of them so you have a light two windows USB 110 uh, so everybody should be comfortable in the bunks they are double over double so I think you'd be about six foot two and not have your feet hanging over and it is a nice wide bed but the other thing that it does with this setup when we're in the coach it kind of opens it up you don't just have a wall there you've got uh, a section there with four windows total brings in some natural light so it kind of makes it comfortable check out this uh, stairwell with it they're not wasting the space underneath the stairs there is a drawer right there so that is some usable space you've got a drawer down there a couple more there and then you have this wardrobe right here 
so you can hang stuff up and this closet looks deep enough for standard uh, coat hangers and you do have a, a TV backer location here in the hookup so if the occupants here in the bunks want to watch TV uh, you have a spot for it so this one does have the Thomas Paine collection uh, theater seats here so nice theater seats very comfortable go ahead and sit down and get a perspective as you're sitting here you got some nice uh, cabinetry here lots of counter space pantry space okay so the TV let's take a look at that it's on an arm so you could put it out if you're sitting over here no problem you can watch TV comfortably it is very convenient there check out those huge huge pantry space up here all right lots of pantry space there Got a place you could put some wine bottles in there wine rack good size microwave oven and there we go just putting that TV out of the way there's a little cubby storage up there hey here's my contact information I'm Duke your video host be happy to assist you with the if you want to become a member of enjoying the RV lifestyle I'll be glad to welcome you into the RV lifestyle be your concierge for the whole experience look at all this counter space though You've got a ton of counter space here. There's a leaf there. It's really not in the way when it is uh, folded up. Uh, you got a well-positioned refrigerator, easy to get to there. And this one does have a hundred and it does have a solar panel up on the roof, so it'll keep your battery charged. This is a U-shaped dinette on this slide, so that will also work as a full-size bed for somebody. An adult can sleep there if you make that into a bed. And they've got some stuff here. It tells about the grand design, reflection, uh, raising the bar in customer service. I can vouch for that. You call the factory, they will uh, answer the phone and help you. So you can see this. They're showing all these pictures of the construction, the insulation. This is a very well insulated rig. I can tell you that. I've already showed you the USB charging station. It has a Moride CR3 thousand suspension system it reduces wear and tear on your rig talks about the fully laminated sidewalls here with the r9 r30 on the insulated floor it's double insulated r40 on a double insulated roof so it's very well insulated r40 on the cap it's even got an insulated gooseneck which some other manufacturers don't do that's the gooseneck section there right in the very front so that's some pretty cool stuff and it shows in here when it's 100 degrees outside it's going to be in the mid to low 70s on the inside if it's zero degrees outside it's still going to be in the 70s it'll be 55 in the holding tank area i don't know if you can read that if it's coming through but uh good information don't for catching it on this camera so that's a lot of good uh, information if you uh have any questions about it i'll be happy to uh, get with you there's storage doors underneath each of those uh, booths you have a place you can get to you can stow away some things in there so uh, let's take a peek at it from a couple of different angles here so you can see the beautiful cabinetry here nice kitchen if you're looking for a nice kitchen area, lots of counter space, you can check the box there. Comfortable recliners. Plenty of sleeping space for one, two, three big people. If you have uh, more kids than that, they could probably double up in some of these compartments here. But it's very open in here, very practical. So we're going to turn around and walk up the stairs. There's a little stair grab handle right here make it safe check out that nice woodwork in this luxury bathroom beautiful medicine cabinet here large and it's got a very well positioned toilet plenty of hip leg, hip leg and elbow room all right you didn't get enough on the last medicine cabinet you got all kinds of bathroom storage in here you got this 
natural skylight coming through there, natural daylight illuminating your luxury shower experience. Get a nice shower head here. And then there is a uh, feature here. If you want to uh, dry something, you can pull this. Uh, there is a clothesline that goes all the way across there, and you can uh, dry some items there on the fly. So that is a practical feature. It has a pocket door for the bedroom. If you want to close that, but you can go in and see. It really is a nice headboard in there. Gives it a very warm looking cabinetry. It just looks nice in here. It does have an emergency exit. If you decide to go out there, just go feet first. And look, there's a huge window on this side. So it's very open in here. Lots of window space. Got plenty of room to walk up around here on both sides and get on the bed. So you're not cramped in here. This one has a queen size bed. The other thing that it has is a uh, wardrobe area. It's got four drawers here. Good size drawers. And then a place you can hang up your clothes. That's very deep so you're not getting fooled there. Some of these RVs, they have a curtain, a clothes rod closet rod I'm working on it and it's not deep enough for a real coat hanger so that is some practical space there functional usable space there is an AC unit up here sorry about the camera work there but this one does have two AC units that's a 13,500 BTU air conditioner and then I believe this one over here is 15,000 we can double check that for you hey I appreciate you tagging along I'm Duke your video host and uh, here's my contact information. If you walked, watched all the way through, please do click the uh, thumbs up button. It means a lot to me. It'll help my channel. And I appreciate it. Make me feel great. And you can subscribe if you want to see any of my other. i got about 400 different RVs on here right now. So thanks so much for tuning in and uh, viewing this video. Thank you.